The biggest leap in AI has just happened, and it's now possible for YouTube channels to create content in hours that used to take experienced teams weeks. And the businesses that jump on the AI I'm about to show you are going to see exponential results. Honestly, I cannot believe what I'm about to show you is real. Okay, so this first AI, this isn't the most mind-blowing of the bunch, but I want to start with it because it's a vastly improved version of an image creator that allows you to create thumbnail images that look like this in a matter of seconds. Now, it's from Google and it's called Nano Banana or Banana, whatever the heck you want to call it. And before you skip, because you've probably seen it in the news, what I've noticed is most people are using it wrong and they end up with thumbnail images that look like this still. So to work out the best way to make realistic thumbnail images, I spent hours playing with this and I came up with a workflow I'd recommend to you to get realistic looking images like the ones you can see on screen right now. So the first thing you do is go over to Nano Banana, 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 and you want to feed it a high quality headshot. Now this probably isn't going to be a surprise to you, but the better the quality of the image you feed into this thing, the more realistic your results will be. Then once you've got a headshot, you give it a basic prompt like this. So make a 16 by 9 image, put the person to the right hand side on a dark red subtle gradient background with a confident expression on their face. That then gives you a baseline to customize from if you want. Okay, so now let's say, I wanna make my t-shirt a lovely shade of pink. I'd say, make this man's t-shirt pink. And look, it works. Basically, you can customize your image bit by bit just by telling it what to do with very simple prompts. Now, you can add text to this as well, but what I found was just downloading that image and then adding text yourself in your image editor is a lot quicker and a lot easier. But if you want a more complex image than the thumbnails I make on this channel, some other cool stuff you can do and make images like this. So I just said, give the man a white sign holding it to his side, and that's what it made. So having that quality image to start off with means this is nearly always going to work very well for you. The thing is, not everyone has a professional headshot lying around, right? So I wanted to know, what if I just took the worst photo on my webcam and then threw that in? Would it work too? And this is what it did. That's not bad, right? Now, it does feel way more AI, but that took me about three minutes. And in the past, that probably would have taken a professional photographer like half a day to set up and then an hour to shoot you and direct you. <laughs> now, there is a free version of it, but it will use up some credits. Then you're gonna have to pay. But honestly, it's gonna save you on getting a photography degree, which is much more. Okay, prepare yourself because this next AI, I have been using nonstop and I think this is one of the biggest game changers I've seen of maybe all time. And it's going to change how you make content and other things forever. So here's how it works. So if you want to grow a YouTube channel or a business, you have got a ton of competition out there. And basically, everyone in your niche is probably saying very similar things in the video. And what you find is the people who grow the fastest are usually the ones who find really innovative ways to make the same information feel new to the viewer. And that is exactly what this AI I'm about to show you does. It gives everyone on the planet the ability to create fresh, unique angles in their content. But not only that, some of the things I've built with this thing in like 30 minutes would have once taken a team of people weeks to make. This is going to change the creative economy or just the whole economy forever. <laughs> so here's how it works. So imagine you're a finance channel and you wanna make a video that makes your content feel fresh and new. I'm gonna play you a clip of a demo video I made that's gonna show you how I used AI to do this. All right, editor Greg, can you play the clip of our fake channel? Thank you. So the first budgeting mistake is not knowing how much you're spending. But to help you fix it, I built you this free app. Each month, you just download your bank statement, upload it, and the app categorizes all of your expenses. It shows you where you're overspending, where you're underspending, and it even gives you tips on how to budget better next month. And because most people find accounting so boring, to make it even more fun, you can set a savings goal for six months with a personal reward if you hit it. So I built that fully working app with one prompt and AI built it in five minutes. But it works and it's better than I imagined. And that fake finance channel could now give that away for free to build their email list as well as make their content next level. But this doesn't stop there. In two hours, I then used this AI to build a thumbnail creation tool for my clients where look, they upload their headshot, they select the emotion they want, they choose their position on the image just by typing, they can change the background color just by clicking, they can add text, swap expressions, they can change their t-shirt color as an instantly great clean thumbnails or professional headshots. What? But then on the same day, one of my clients messages saying, Ed, 
Thanks for recommending Milanote. I really like it. Now, Milanote is a vision board software that looks like this. So I thought, hang on a sec, why don't I just build my clients a new version of Milanote so they don't have to pay for it anymore? And we only really use like 1% of the features anyway. And one thing led to another, and a few hours later, I had built this. <laughs> so now what my clients could do is type in the title of their video and then they can drop in nine thumbnail variations. So it displays on the vision board like this in the way that you see it on YouTube. They can then press preview titles and that will show them different title sets on different thumbnails so they can figure out the best combo that works. But that's not the best thing. Then they can hit analyze and the AI taps into a ton of my training material and gives feedback on all of these thumbnails and titles using a traffic light system I developed. So it will go green if the packaging and the thumbnail and title is good to go. It will go red if there's a problem. And as you can see here on the side, when it goes red, it literally tells them what the problem is with their packaging, why the title might not work with the thumbnail, where the thumbnail design has issues, any strategic issues that image might have, and most importantly, how to fix it. Just read that for a second, feel free to pause. The advice it is giving is so flipping good. But then I hit a problem. I just couldn't stop building apps. So I built another one for my program that gives my clients this monthly dashboard where they can track all of their sales metrics. They plug in their business data and then the app will light up in red where there is a bottleneck in their funnel and then it gives some advice on how to fix it. And the reason I'm so excited about this, as you can probably tell, is creators we just used to make videos to promote our businesses and grow a following, but we can now build software in minutes and then integrate that into our content and our products and our marketing. And I think this is so important for you to learn. I'm going to do a free live stream where I just build one of these apps with you. So if you want to be notified when that goes live, just drop your email below. But if you can't wait, here's a very simple process of how I made all of these apps. So what you want to do first is you just go to the Google AI studio, as this is known, click on this build button, and then just keep it very simple to start and tell it the exact problem you want to solve. And then let it just generate a basic version of an app that could solve that problem. It's kind of what I did with the Miller board. After that, you refine it. So don't worry about overcomplicating your prompts. What I do is I react to what I can see. So if we look at my vision board, that might have been built. And then I might go, ah, there's no option to delete a video. So I just say to the AI, can you make an option to delete the individual videos by right clicking it? And hey presto, look, it's done. The thing that scared me the most was every single time I started with a fresh prompt, it made something significantly better than I ever imagined. Okay, now a few things to note. You can build an app for free, but it's limited in how many tokens you get. So basically your prompts will run out for a bit. So I've been paying for this service. And I think if you're going to take this seriously, whatever you're paying is too cheap. It's insane. <laughs> Secondly, when you build on these little tools, it will let users type something in. And they can even save things to it, but only inside their web browser. If they clear their cookies or they log in from like another computer, their work is not going to be available. So if you want to have this like a proper piece of software with a login and a password so that their stuff's always saved. I'm paying someone to do that bit for me because I don't know how to do that or even how to prompt it yet. So you might have extra like development costs there, but for lead magnets and things you just build for your videos, it doesn't really matter. And you can share your apps just by clicking this link and sending it to people and to just hammer home how good this is for your channel and growing your business. I have a software company called RevTrack and it's currently tracking over half a billion views from YouTube and it's showing us what generates sales and email signups. And what we established is if you use a free tool like I showed you in the finance example in a video and then you ask people to sign up, your email signups explode. You get significantly higher click-through rates and significantly higher conversions than anything else we've seen tested. So if you want to learn more, click the link below and come and join my live when I do it. Okay, this next AI I'm going to show you has slashed how long it takes to write videos now, but maybe not in the way you'd think. So most businesses hate scripting because it takes them flipping ages, but also beginners really struggle to get their thoughts out of their head when they're typing and they get overwhelmed and jammed. But I've come up with a little AI system that you can use that is going to stop you overthinking and it's going to avoid brain fog. So the way we do this is like so. Firstly, I turn on this setting on my Mac. What it means is when I talk, it types what I'm saying like this and it's very accurate. Now, if you don't have a Mac, 
You can just talk to ChatGPT like this by clicking the button and it will listen to what you're saying, then transcribe it, but it is a lot slower and I found it messes up more too. Then I just brain dump what I want to talk about in the video in no specific order. I just riff, think out loud, there's no structure, it's a ramble. And then I paste that into ChatGPT and say, turn this into a video plan, order it in a way that makes the most sense for the viewer. And suddenly what was brain fog, overwhelm and confusion becomes a really clear structured outline, which is optimized for the viewers learning too. And that removes a huge amount of work from this. Then I present from this outline whilst the computer types everything I'm saying. And after that, I have a very draft script complete. Then what I'll do is I'll feed that back into ChatGPT and I'll say to it, edit this down to remove any repetition. Don't cut out a huge amount of the narrative, just any mistakes. And after that, I just edit it. So the first half of scripting, which is often the bit people get most stuck at, is done. But you can then, if you want, edit this down with AI too. So I have built script writing bots that are based on my own training material. I will then load each section of my script into it and it removes waffle, it simplifies, it pulls out overwhelming areas. And it basically says what I've said in less words. And this matters because over explaining is often one of the reasons why videos underperform. And in recent tests with this, it took a script that was 6,000 words down to four and a half thousand whilst not removing anything that mattered. And your viewer is going to like that. <laughs> now, this particular AI is only available to my clients, but you can do something similar just asking regular old ChatGPT to fix any over explaining in sections of your script. Check it out, it's really good. All right, so this next AI, it's on the same game-changing level as the app builder I showed you earlier, so prepare yourself. Some of you might need to change your underwear because the excitement got too much. <laughs> I know I do. So the problem most businesses have is they can't get YouTube views to turn into sales. And it's often because they sent their viewers to a terrible sales or sign up page, as well as most of the time their copy kind of being weak and the design looking all yucky, meaning the page just puts people off when they do arrive. But this AI can basically fix up your page in an instant. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the software company I mentioned that I own earlier is called RevTrack and the website's rubbish. <laughs> I basically knocked it up as fast as I could because that's how I do things. Minimum viable option, drive some data to it, then work out the best next step. And I'm now at that position where I'm like, let's make the next best step. So I started trying to build myself a new website and I thought, why am I doing this? This is gonna take me days. So instead, I went to an app called Lovable I pasted in my copy for the page and I just said, build me a modern sales page for a software business, use this color scheme and add a calculator with sliders so people can see how much money my software could make them. And then I gave them a bit more information on how these calculator sliders might work. And this is what it produced in 10 minutes. Now that is version one. I've hardly made any changes to this. Now I will tweak the copy and the styling a bit, but that would have taken me days to create on my own using WordPress. And I wouldn't have done a slick enough job. It's also fully responsive. So you drag it around and it works on mobiles and the calculator is amazing. <laughs> but let's say you want to now change the font style. What you do is you just say, change the font to whatever you want. Or you could say, change these icons to something more zhuzhy. So I could say, give them a cyberpunk style. And then you can just click on any section, edit it and tell the AI exactly what to do. Or you just type it in yourself. Now. There is a free version of this, but like most things, it's capped. You could probably squeeze out one simple email signup page, but I paid $25 for this. That's a month. And that brings us on to our fifth AI. Now, this one isn't so much about a new tool. It's about how you use AI to make it work for you, because a lot of people are still kind of new to this. And the mistake I see them make when they jump in is they think, oh, great, AI can do everything. And they try and create these like huge systems to solve every problem they have at once. And they're playing with AI agents and automations and it wastes hours because it will eventually break because it's got too many moving parts. But the way I've implemented AI into my channel, my content, my products, my lead magnets, my program is by just keeping every single one I make incredibly simple. And what that means is it works really well. So if you've not started using AI yet, here's exactly what I'd recommend to build better content for your channel or bots or systems or apps. So step one, this is the most important step. All you have to do is come up with a problem that you wanna solve. If you don't have a problem to focus on, you have no end goal 
and you won't be able to build an app. So that could be, I want to make better thumbnails. I want to script faster. I want to optimize my page for conversions. Then in step two, you go to ChatGPT and you say, this is the problem I want to solve. How could I build an app or a piece of software or an AI bot that helps solve it? Then just keep asking it questions based on its answers until you read it and go, that sounds like a great little solution. And then step three, you just say to ChatGPT, can you write me a prompt to build that? Now, if you want to build an AI bot, like my scripting one, you basically say, write me a prompt that teaches an AI how to build a bot that solves this problem. If it's a software, you just say, write me a prompt that teaches an AI how to build this software. And then you just paste that into your builder and you've got your first draft. And then step four, just iterate from there. Just little tweaks, look at it and go, I don't like that bit. And then tell it to change exactly that bit. And just go back and forwards over and over again, test, adjust, repeat, until you look at it and you're happy. Now, AI is not gonna solve 100% of your problems. So if you're looking for more innovative ways to generate sales views and leads for your business from YouTube, watch this video next, and I'll show you exactly how businesses are hitting 20K, 30K, 100K months following a simple system that works until AI replaces us all and we end up jobless.